I made it completely into Nairobi. This is now uh, Nairobi. And we're off to Monrovia uh, in a hop and a skip, hopefully. Nairobi. I'm waiting at our gate. Here she goes. Okay, on the last leg of our journey to Monrovia. And we're stopping by Accra. Where we're going to uh, not get off the airplane. But I'm looking forward to seeing Monrovia. See if we've been traveling. And, uh, looking forward to some fishing tomorrow and then uh, I'll have a lot of good hunting after that. Okay, we made it. We're inside Liberia right now. That's the airport in the back there. Got some photographs to show the madness in there. But the people are friendly, the people are good. And uh, just a wonderful opportunity, man. I'll tell you that. Let's see where we go from here. We are fresh from the airport uh, in Monrovia and we've just been uh, graciously offered a coconut so uh, just absolutely the best we could wish for right now and a lot of excitement ahead of us and Morris is really enjoying it <laughs> Okay, here we are in Liberia, believe it or not. That's Captain Flash himself. We're going to be fishing with him tomorrow. And uh, yeah, this is uh, at the uh, fishing marina. And it seems to be people getting ready for New Year's. I'm, I'm very surprised at the amount, how little alcohol use there is. Very, very low alcohol use. Kind of cool. Kind of different. Our accommodations in Monrovia. We have just arrived. It actually looks kind of spivvy, is the best way to describe it. We've got a fishing day booked for tomorrow with Captain Flash at Extreme Fishing Charters. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see what's going to happen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are right now at Extreme Fishing Charters, and it's the 1st of January. In the background you can see the main lodge area and then we turn around we're going to fish on aquaholic tonight aquaholic it is and there's the boat in the background and can't believe the humidity it's insane here in liberia um the amount of humidity is just incredible we are on a little side stream of the saint paul saint paul river it's a huge river that uh, flows into the uh, Atlantic Ocean here just north of Monrovia. Just an incredible place. Let's see if we get lucky today. All right. On Aquaholic. Just left the dock and uh, we're heading on out on one of the side streams of the St. Paul River. It's good to be underway. We're going to have a good time and we're going to catch fish. Lovely, there we are. The blessing of the reels, there's no question asked. I think it's hard to explain to someone how many lines we have in the water here. It's insane if you have a look at what's bouncing around back there. Just nuts. Good fishing. The temperature of the water is insane. It's as hot as hell. Um, humid. You can almost bite a chunk of air off and and taste that. Then we've also got 
Now this is very interesting, from the Sahara Desert we got sand blowing in that uh, you'll see tonight when you blow your nose. It's incredible. The, uh, the, the, the bulk of the air is something you've got to try and explain to someone here in Liberia off the coast. We are approximately, I would say about 20 miles out into the ocean. We're possibly going to 45 miles, but uh, yeah. One big uh, first day of the year ahead of us, let's see. Just crazy stuff. Tuna everywhere. Oh, we. There we are. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 80 pounds standing without a harness. It's a lot of fun. Control. We'll send you the link. Okay. Smallest one. Yeah. Goes. That's the biggest. We're catching tuna here in Liberia. In the most incredible place that's in the middle of nowhere, we haven't seen a boat all day. We got the Colonel working hard, We're getting that sucker in there. All right, Colonel! Well done! Okay, Debbie's on with a standing rig, and we got another rod streaming here. Then we got another fish over there, and then I need to get Captain Flash giving my camera. He's on with another fish. All the line I just gained has gone you know, taken again. Still, when you're real. I'm trying, Colonel. <laughs> We're missing you, Hank. This is hard work. <sighs> Look at that. Yeah. right now we uh, we tired ourselves out on uh, yellowfin tuna just incredible we're gonna we're gonna continue obviously hoping to pick up a marlin in between or a really big tuna uh, we're catching a uh, keg sized tuna and uh, we'll probably be able to catch as many as we want I've never seen such a large school of dolphin in my life when I say dolphin I mean porpoise I don't know the species of dolphin here. I don't know the species of porpoise here, uh, but it's got a, uh, a pink spot right on its snout and got some spots on its sides and a pink belly. Just kind of a cute looking uh, dolphin. I'm, I'm gonna do my best to find out what species it is. But we're having a great time late here in Liberia, uh, in the middle of nowhere. Okay, thank you, let me get out of your way. On way maximum stick. What? Okay guys, this is insane. Have a look at that security. Now, in my opinion, it's reminiscence from the old war days, uh, is what I think. We're going to dinner right now. So we've walked out of 
our living complex to the restaurant next door. So we got to our restaurant tonight and it is jam packed. This is, this is our starter. The Colonel is helping himself to a lovely piece of garlic bread. Darling, what would you say about that garlic bread? Very good. It's good stuff, isn't it? Ibis Dorado. Beautiful Dorado with a beautiful mixed salad. 